It may be too little too late for many students planning on going to college in the fall, but the federal officials are working right now to fix some of the major problems with the new financial aid form, which is known as the FAFSA form. Yeah, so here's how we got here. At the beginning of the year, the Department of Education released an overhaul of the student aid form to make it easier for students to apply and qualify for financial aid. But issues with the application left a lot of students unable to complete the form, meaning schools then could not make financial aid offers. So new this week, the Education Department announced a $50 million grant program to encourage more students to finish their forms. Michael Perchick joining us now by from NC State in Raleigh. So Michael, you were able to speak with one college counselor who says that this money is needed to make sure that the kids don't miss their college opportunity. You know, Steve Bianca, this information is so pivotal for many families in determining whether or not they can afford to attend a certain college or university. Many of these students simply cannot go to the four-year colleges they're considering without this financial aid. The way to learn whether or not they'll receive that aid and how much it may be has put students in a difficult position. It's having a significant impact on students delaying going to college at all, choosing to go to a community college instead of a four-year college. According to the National College Attainment Network, through April 26th, just over 39,000 high school seniors in North Carolina completed FAFSA forms. In the same time period last year, that figure topped 51,000 students. I had a student who they started their FAFSA February 26th. Um, and they were able to submit it yesterday. To try and ease the process, UNC, NC State, and a handful of other UNC system schools pushed back their enrollment deadline from May 1st to May 15th. Um, and I have students who still haven't received financial aid packages from certain schools. Elizabeth Herrera runs Casa Azul de Wilson, a nonprofit working with dozens of students to complete these forms. While her immediate focus is on this batch of seniors, she's already thinking about how to help the incoming class. I will shift forward into hopefully um, being more intentional and um, getting our parents to create that FSA ID before the FAFSA even opened. Marnie Kim, a junior in Orange County, plans to fill out the FAFSA next school but year. I've been asking my teachers for letters of rec. She hopes to focus on law or policy, noting UNC and Duke are of particular interest. What I've been hearing from my friends that are seniors, I'm, it's kind of stressful for them, so I'm a little bit worried, but you know, I hope that it all gets sorted out. NC State says they started sending out financial aid offers early last month, noting that to this point, the totals are fairly similar to previous academic years. Over in Chapel Hill, a UNC spokesperson noting they started back on April 22nd. They invited students who have not yet responded to those offers to reach out directly. In Raleigh, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.